doing the install myself. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and put my car up on the ramps. Um, this step is optional, but for me it will be easier to have access to the vessels. So this is going to be my setup for the install. I have my car up on race ramps. Shout out to one of our previous sponsors, which is uh, race ramps. After so many years, they still come in handy. And then I will also put a blanket down, not just for me not to get dirty, but as you see, it's really easy access, so this will be my setup, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to start working. This is what you will be needing for the install. I have here a ratchet, also a 2-3 to three inch extension. I only had a 3 inch, so that's what I'll be using, and also a 7 millimeter socket. Here we have our carbon fiber from Bumper Grill Vessels. As you can see, you can see the carbon fiber. We have our left and right, and let's go do the install. Setup I'm going to use, and there's three bolts on the vessel. As you can see, there's one closest to the center, one in the middle, and one closest to the outside of the car. So here, for the first two bolts, I'll be using the extension. For the last one closest to the outside, I would only need the ratchet and the socket. So first, I'm going to start with the one closest to the center. It is a tight spot, but trust me, it can be done. And for the third one, I'll just go ahead and remove the extension, just with the socket. Here, I have more of an easier angle. Apply a little bit of force with your two hands and it comes right off. To remove the original piece, we're going to go ahead and remove the seat clips. These will be installed in our carbon fiber piece. Here we have the difference, the carbon fiber piece and the original. And once you install the seat clips, this will allow you to use the same bolts that were installed on the original. to put it back on. Now we're going to go ahead and install it and all we have to do is peel all the guides for the pads. We'll just put them on there and snap it in place. We'll go back to the first tab in the front and there you have it. from bumper grill vessels and you can find them on the link below what do you guys think now we're removing the passenger car now that we remove the bolts we'll just go ahead and snap it out just like that okay so now we're taking our carbon fiber one Sigala, it was a pleasure doing an install with you. See you on the next one.